Welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Join our mailing list for the latest in TV and entertainment news. As stated in our privacy policy, we will not share or sell your information. Almost four minute footage showing 62 year old co stars Frank and Robbie going on a picking spree in an episode from season 20 was uploaded on the show's Facebook page. Frank found a massive Coca Cola sign and a Goodyear sign in the rubble of a World War II bunker. The vendor went on a tear about Frank's abilities after a successful transaction. Well, let me tell you something. His sense of smell is impeccable. You could say he's a real killer. He was uncontrollable. Frank ends up at the bottom of the heap, he went on to say, similar to a canine pursuing a rabbit. These guys are professional pickers, the seller said. That's the whole story. As soon as their favorite host was acknowledged, fans flocked to the comments section to express their joy. As one supporter put it, good one. A other supporter tagged red heart emojis. Another viewer gushed, saying, loved the show when it had Frank on it. Frank was eventually succeeded by Robbie following his dismissal. As co-hosts for the season 25 debuted on July 5, Robbie was joined by his brother Mike Wolf, who is 58 years old, and Danielle Colby, who is 47 years old. In New York, 58-year-old John Chalet, also known as Jersey John, helped Mike rummage through the inventory of Stephen Hecht, a sewing machine repairman, at his Hecht sewing machine and motor store for the premiere. But some viewers didn't bother to tune in after their favorite star was fired. According to the U.S. Sun, ratings fell by 100,000 viewers, suggesting that the boycott had an impact. Although 918,000 people tuned in for the debut, only 803,000 saw the July 12 episode. It was formerly a much more entertaining program, and critics said the show was a lot better with Frank on it. A court hearing was set for Frank's conservatorship case earlier this month, while the ex-host's finances are being worked out. The U.S. Sun has learned exclusively that the case's court hearing is set for July 26. At the hearing, the attorneys for the conservator and the guardian will present their applications for conservatorship authority. The TV star was placed under guardianship following a devastating stroke he suffered in July 2022, which allegedly damaged his ability to make decisions.